Hello everyone, this is Lydia. I hope you're all having a great day. So grab a cup of coffee, your favorite beverage. And today I'm going to show you how to make these um, cute little fabric flowers. Little shabby chic flowers. Here's a blue one I made, like a powder blue. And then this floral one. So um, the dye that I used is the one that I just purchased from Hobby Lobby on clearance. It was, um, I think I paid $11.99 for it. And it's called the Sizzix Flowers 3D Fringed. Fringed. Right there. Okay, so this is what the flowers look like. Now, if you don't have this dye, don't panic. You can use your circle, any circle dye you have. The only difference is once you cut your circles, you're gonna have to cut the little slits all the way around to form your fringe. And if you don't have any dyes, you could also use a um, circle template or just, you know, freehand your circles. Okay, ladies? Um, so this is what the flowers look like when you cut them out. That's the large one, the small, uh, medium one, and the small one. And as you can see, it cuts the slits for you. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of flowers that I made. Um, your flowers are going to differ in look depending on the material that you use. And first I did paper. So here's a, like a little grungy flower. And I used one of each. And I used a skewer to fold the petals down. And I just added a button. So that's a paper one right there. Then I made another paper one and this one I use my skewer to fold the petals upward or inward so that's another paper flower then I use this straight on fabric so that's a regular fabric one just three um you know three pieces a small medium and and large I made that one and I made this one I used the pearl center and here's another fabric one. And this was using the pink tool that Karen sent me. And I have a small um, circle back in here to hold it all together. So that was the tool. This was using two large ones with a very wide um, lace that I had. So just two of the larger flowers I used on that one because it's a thicker material. I didn't want it to be too poofy. And then this one was using the medium one, just two of them, with the lace again. And then this was using two of the small one, small flower dye. And I just added a little pearl center here. And then this one was using um, a burlap material. Not really crazy about this one. I mean, it's, it's great for um, a fall layout or a masculine card maybe, but it falls apart easily. So I, I really don't recommend the burlap on this unless you have some kind of a fixative or something where you can stabilize the material. I didn't have anything, so. And then this one was using the music note fabric that Karen sent me in a rack. Thank you, Karen. So that's that one. So the supplies you're gonna need is, like I said, you're gonna need uh, some sort of circle die. And you're going to need some centers. I'm using the buckles and some flat back pearls. You can use buttons, uh, beads, baubles, any kind of center you want. You're going to need a circle punch for your backing. I used the one and three quarter, but you don't have to go this large. I used a, a smaller one for like the tool because I didn't want the chipboard to show through. Okay, you're gonna need um, a, a punch. And you're going to need a pair of scissors and a hot glue gun. You could sew if you want, but I'm not sewing. Okay, so I'm starting off with my, um, my base which I used my circle punch to cut it. 
and this is just some cardstock, some craft uh, color ca cardstock. So you're going to need, for this project, you're going to need four of the large flowers, four of the medium flowers, and four of the small ones. So start with your large ones. You're going to start from larger to smaller to finish it. And you're going to fold your flower. Now, don't fold it perfectly in half. You're going to fold it offset. Okay? I hope you can see that. You're going to fold it like so. I don't know if it'll make a big difference, but I, nah, I think it would because you get a, fl a fluffier flower. Now this cotton material that I'm using is like a really, really sheer cotton. So I'm only going to need a tiny t dab of glue on the um, edge here, and that's all I'm gonna need. But if you're using a thicker fabric, like when I use this one that Karen sent me is a heavier cotton, then you wanna um, add some glue inside first. Add a little bit of glue, fold it in half, and then you add your glue again on the tip to put it down on your base. But this is really thin, so I'm just gonna need a little, a little bit of glue. Now center it. Oops, I have a different angle on my camera. Some more frame, sorry ladies. Just center it and glue it down. Go to your next large flower okay off center fold it again add a little bit of glue and feel feel free to fast forward this part ladies I don't know how to edit so it's going to be a long video so again fold it in half fold it in half again To your base there. This is the last large one. Okay, there you go. So that's my first layer. <coughs> Excuse me, now I'm going to go to my medium flowers, my, my medium um, die cut flowers. Again, offset, fold in half. You're gonna repeat the process. Now what you're gonna do is, you see where these lines are? That's where you're gonna start your second layer of flowers. So here's my line. I'm gonna add it right in the center. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, if you have any questions, just Post a comment, I will reply. Fold. And this is going to go right next to it. Don't worry about lining up or anything, just put it right next to it. It's going to line up. Okay, here's my third medium sized flower. You can um, sew these by hand if you want, but I don't like to sew, so I shan't. This is the last medium size piece. So that's what it's looking like right now, ladies. Like so. And now I'm going to add the last layer, which is the smallest flower. Offset the fold, fold it in half, fold it in half again. Look for your line. See, it's like an X. I'm gonna line it up like so. So here's the last layer. Center it. That hot glue on my finger. It's annoying. I also um, altered some of those organza bags. I'll try to get a video up on those. They turned out kind of cute. So it depends on what, you know, the print fabric you use. You got your flowers are going to look different. 
try different colors. This was an old dress that I was getting rid of and I love the print on it. And the cotton is like so sheer and so soft. I thought they would make um, perfect fringe flowers. Here's my last piece. Okay, and now you're going to add, that's what it looks like. That's the finished flower. And I'm going to add a buckle. Here's the other one I finished. So I'm going to add my buckle. And I get these from Elizabeth's store, BD Bomb Bomb Creations. She has really great prices on these if you want to check her out. And I used the pink one on that one, so I think I'll try a blue on this one. Just to mix it up. I'm going to add some hot glue and add my pearl. Oops, I dropped it. Just hold it in there a sec so I can dry straight. And there's your fabric flower. So cute, love it. Shabby chic. I like the blue one too. The material is really pretty, see that ladies? So those are my uh, handmade fabric flowers, ladies. Thanks for watching, everyone. Give it a try and have a great day. Bye.